In this video, we will talking about how to configure DRSeed backup in Sang4 at Cloud. Here is a scenario where DRSeed will be suitable to use. The customer have a primary and secondary site with disaster recovery plan, but the bandwidth between both sites are very narrow. In this example, the link speed is 2 megabits per second and maximum speed of 256 kilobytes per second. Assume if the customer first backup size is 2 terabytes, it required to take estimate 48.5 days to transfer the backup to secondary site. To resolve this issue, we can use seed backup function to other site. First, we will create a seed file at primary site. Then we will export the seed file to an external storage. After that, we physically transport it to secondary site. We then plug in the external storage and import in the seed file. After that, we will have our first backup in our sites. The smaller incremental backup can be transport via the network connection. Next, we will be showing how to use the seed backup function. Go to Reliability Center, press on Disaster Recovery. Press on Cross Site DR Task. Press on New to create a new DR task. Enter the DR task name. Select the primary site and secondary site. Select the VM you wish to protect. Then, you are required to select RPO. Press on the icon for more information. The RPO is the acceptable amount of data loss when an application goes down. If you have a very important data, it is suggested to choose a smaller RPO value. For local backup periodic, it should be smaller than RPO value. If your RPO value is 1 hour, you can only select CDP. In this case, we will keep the RPO as 1 hour. Select your remote backup repository, we will keep it as default. Here you can choose compressed for data transmission. Press on the icon for more information. The compression will compress the backup files before transmission. It will improve the efficiency and reduce bandwidth consumption. But take note that it will consume more CPU resources. We will select compressed in this case. Then, at backup schedule, as our RPO value is 1 hour, we can only select CDP. Select your local backup repository, we will keep it as default. Select your IO activity log repository. Here you can select execute this task upon creation completion. Press save after all configurations. Wait for the DR task to be created. After the DR task have been generated, add backups on primary site. Make sure there is backup generated for the selected VM. Adding removable storage. Go to HCI platform. Go to storage and press on other data stores. Press on new and select local storage. Select the removable storage you want to add and press next. Here you can name the storage, we will keep it as default. At max backup repository or total capacity, enter 100% to ensure the storage have enough space for the seed. Press OK after all configurations. Wait for the storage to be created. Here you can see the removable storage is successfully added. Export replica seed to local storage. Go to SCP, at Reliability Center, press on Disaster Recovery. Go to Cross Site DR Dusk. Add Replica Seeds, press on Create Replica Seeds. Select the DR task that has been created. Select the corresponding virtual machine. Press Next. Select the removable storage and press Start. Wait for the export to be complete. At Task, go to Disaster Recovery. Make sure the export task is completed. Unplug the removable storage and transport it to secondary site. Plug in the removable storage at secondary site. Then, go to storage, press other data stores. Repeat the same step to add in the new local storage. Make sure the removable storage is successfully created. Import the replica seed. Go to SCP, at Reliability Center, press on Disaster Recovery. Go to Cross Site DR Dusk. Press on Replica Seeds, select Import Replica Seeds. Select the secondary site, 
Then select the removable storage. Here you will able to see the VM that is inside the seed. Select the VM. Press next. After confirming the details, press OK. Wait for the seed to be input in. After import complete, go to backups on secondary site. Here you will able to see the backup have been successfully imported. Precaution. While exporting seed backup file, system will automatically perform full backup on the virtual machine, to ensure backup data is the latest. While importing seed backup file, system will automatically cancel recent backup transmission task and perform VM importation to the task. After seed backup exported, it should not to have another incremental backup on the primary site, else it will unable to import in secondary site due to backup link invalid. In other words, if backup image successfully transferred to secondary site, it will unable to recover as well since backup existed.